Seth Green here, super excited for what I'm sure you will find a fascinating set of interviews with my longtime friend and client, Ted Thomas. So what should I buy? Should I buy tax lien certificates or tax defaulted properties? If you're old like me, you got a lot of that gray hair or no hair, you want to be really conservative. Very conservative investment is a tax lien certificate. Okay, I like to say it's the safest investment in America. Why do I say that? Because you're going to invest with the government. When the people pay their tax and 97, 98% will pay, then you're going to get your money back. If you don't get your money back, you're going to get the property. So your money is secured by the property. Now, when you paid someone taxes, you only paid 1% of value. Would you like to get a property for 1% or 2 or 3% of value? That's what you're doing. So that's a safe investment. You're an entrepreneur. Wow, what a great business. All the properties that are confiscated by the government, the government by law must auction the property. The auction in many cases, in many cases, will start at the back taxes. If the auctioneer, meaning the treasurer, is unsure of themselves, they can start the auction at $100. But they won't start it much over the tax that owed because they just want to get rid of it. They don't want the property. They're not in the profit business. They're in the tax business. They just want to collect tax. So I would say, if you're conservative, think about tax lien certificates, or if you're going to buy tax to follow the property, buy them close to you so you can have a crew take care of it and get it cleaned up. They're going to be used. They're going to be abused. And I don't buy any junk. I only buy properties that I know I can fix in a 30-day you know, period. So should I buy big ones or small ones? Well, be conservative. Start small. Here's the beauty of the business. I've been in the business well over 30 years. It's been around 200 years before I started on it. 200 years before, it's going to be around a lot longer. There's going to be people go to default. It's the world of the weird. I mean, if someone passes away and they don't have heirs, this property is going to auction. I don't care if you're in Omaha, Nebraska, or Cheyenne, Wyoming, or Dallas, Texas. People are going to pass away, and the property tax aren't going to get paid. The government doesn't give a hoot about that. All they care about is the taxes. It's all they want. So this business is going to be around forever. So you could learn it now, do one this year, do one next year. This is the kind of business that it's a, it's definitely something you don't quit your job, but take my word for it. You do one or two properties a year. You, you can make all your house payments. You can make your car payments. You have plenty left over to do any vacations you want to do. I know we discussed it earlier and you said you could go online, but what if I want to go to an actual auction? Are the auctions big? Is there like 200 people there? Are there 20 people there? I know it's going to vary all over the map, but like how many people show up? At an, I mean, you've been to hundreds of them. How many show up? All right. So let's, let's take, a, let's take an, uh, uh, an auction with a population of the county is 3 million. So that's going to be like a Los Angeles. In Los Angeles County, they have that auction. If it's a physical auction, all the people are going to come. They can't hold it in a building in downtown. They'll go out to the fairgrounds because they will have a big place to have an auction where they where they can put two or three thousand people. Two or three thousand people will show up, but only only twenty percent of them will bid bid on the property. But that's way too many people. You want to go to smaller auctions. So let's not move back to the East Coast. So let's go to uh, let's go to Charlotte, North Carolina. You go to Charlotte, a uh, million people in that population area. There may be two hundred people at the auction but they might have 200 properties. All right, if 200 people show up, I've never seen more than 25% of them do any bidding. A lot of people just go there. They don't know the rules. They don't have any idea what they're doing. A good 80 to 90% of the people at auctions don't have a clue. They don't believe they should take training. I've been teaching people to do this for over 30 years. When they go, you'll know one of my clients right away because number one, they keep quiet. Number two, they win the bids. So which is better to go to a big city like Miami with, or, or, or a small town, small county in Western New York or Arizona? Small county in Western New York would be better. Go to Arizona. Don't go to Miami. And here's why. Miami's going to have big properties. By that, I mean, they're going to have million and $2 million properties. Okay. Can you, if you want to go and watch and be a looky-loo, do it. But you're going to see bids of three hundred and five hundred thousand dollars $500,000. If you can afford that, go to Miami. But if you can't afford that, why waste your time? Why not come up into the middle part of Florida where it's bread and butter? Go to Duval County, which is Jacksonville. They'll sell all kinds of properties for twenty five dollars and $50,000 that might be worth $200,000. What is the maximum number of tax lien certificates that are available? I couldn't tell you the total number, but I can tell you Florida alone has a million 
tax lien certificates every May and June. A million just in Florida. Florida has 67 counties. So that'll give you some idea. That's absolutely okay. incredible. I thought I heard yeah. you say earlier that the minimum inter the minimum payment in Georgia was 20%. Is that true? Georgia is a redeemable state. Now, folks, listen closely, because nobody else can teach you this. They're, they're, they're going to try to, but they get all mixed up. Okay, there's five redeemable states, but I'm just going to teach you two of them right now. One is Georgia, and one is Texas. And while I'm talking, I'm going to ask Linda, put a picture of Georgia up showing all the counties. You can see all these counties all over Georgia. Every one of those counties can have an auction every month. So you don't have enough life left to go to just the auctions in Georgia. You don't have enough life. Take my word for it. All right. Now, when they auction a property off, they auction it and they auction the deed to the property. Okay. And I don't have one in my hand, but Linda's going to put one up. She's putting a deed up. It's a deed to the property. So when you raise your hand and you win the bid, you get the deed to the property. You got a deed to that man's property or that woman's property. You have a deed. All right. But it's redeemable. So anytime during the year, that property owner can come forward and say, I want my deed back. So they have to pay you whatever you paid and listen close. Okay. Whatever you paid plus 20%. Now, if they come back in one day, if you bought it yesterday and they come in today, they have to give you all your money plus 20%. In five days, all your money plus 20%. In 180 days, all your money plus 20%. Any day in the first year. Now, hold on. If you have a chance to get a property in Georgia, just be very patient because if you got a hold of that certificate and people want to re don't redeem it, don't worry. Let it go into the second year because in the second year, you don't make 20%. You make 30. The year after that, you make 40. And the year after that, you make 50. Now, I don't make the rules. I'm just telling you about a great system. All right, so I told you I'd tell you about two states. Now I'll tell you about Texas. You're not even ready for this. In Texas, you raise your hand. You get a deed to that man's property in Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, you name it. There's 254 counties in Texas. They have an auction first Tuesday of every month. First Tuesday of every month in Texas. You can go there. You get a deed to the property. Okay. The man has 180 days to come in and pay you 25% or you get the property. 25%. It's the law. It's not me. I'm not making it up. There's no speculation. It's the law in the whole state of Texas, did you get paid 25% on that property? How good is that? It's the law. That's it, it, pretty darn good. Why would anybody buy tax lien certificates when they could buy tax deeds? Well, you want to be conservative and sometimes the estate only does one, you know, they, yeah, people are nervous about money, you know, they, they, they've they lost their assets so many times that, you know, they don't want to, people, but there's so many scams out there. This is not a scam. This is a government controlled and administered program that I just, when I discovered it 30 years ago, I said, oh my God, why am I doing all this work? Why not just do something like this? If you didn't do anything else but learn how to do Texas or Georgia, if you made 20% every time you did it, I have people that started with me 20 years ago, they got a million bucks in their IRA. Why? In a Roth IRA to boot. Yeah, they don't have to pay any tax on it. So you make a 20% return. Where are you going to make 20% return? Every year. I, you're not getting the check from Ted Thomas, you're not getting it from a broker, you're not getting it from an IRA account. You're getting it directly from that, that county. That county is going to collect that money or the people won't get it. They won't get their deed back. It's, it's, it's a powerful system. That is absolutely incredible. Folks, again, we're just scratching the surface here. Make sure you watch out for the email and the third video in our video series with Ted Thomas. Make sure you check out the link looking for the very special training event um, that he is doing with us. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next video.